Kimono. Isn't that a type of like <laughs> lizard dragon? Oh, the wonderful thing. <laughs> Mix it up. <laughs> What's up, church kids, and happy Sunday. Hey, teacher Jeremiah, do you know what today is? Um, I just said Sunday. Well, yes, it's Sunday, but it's also Silly Sock Day! Oh, yeah, it is Silly Sock Day. Church kids, if you forgot to put on your silly socks, that's okay. We're gonna do a 10 second silly sock dance while you go find some socks to put on. And if you already have some silly socks on, jump on your feet and let's dance. I'm exhausted. All right, church kids, if you have on your silly socks, go ahead and take a picture with them and tag us on Instagram at Champion Center Church Kids. Okay, friends, this is our last weekend learning about faith. So let's jump right in. Yup, church kids, jump on your silly sock feet and get ready for some worship. And don't forget, it's a great day to, to be, be a church, church kid. kid.
friends it's silly sunday and our theme is silly socks so that's why i'm wearing my pink trampoline socks and also a sock on my head and these trampoline socks have jumped super high and we're gonna play a sock game okay so for this game you're gonna need five pairs of socks they can be clean dirty black white they can have holes in it. It doesn't matter. You're gonna need five pairs. That means ten socks total. All right. You're also gonna need something to cover your eyes. So it could be a blindfold. It can be a bandana. It could be your mom's sleeping mask, or it could even be a t-shirt. And me, I'm gonna represent with this church kids t-shirt. Okay. And just an extra bonus option. If you want to make this game even harder, you can use oven mittens but for me i can only find one so i'm not gonna use it i think that's why i burnt my my pizza the other day because i was missing this glove and i started with two gloves and i ended with one glove and all right i'm just gonna give you a quick example how to play this game ready and start in three two one go silly
church kids so pumped you're here we got another memory verse rap coming your way so i need your help right now let's all jump to our feet right now and let's start bouncing to the beat a little bit okay just side to side just side to side teacher chase take it away being certain of what we do not see faith is being sure of what we hope for it's being certain of what we do not see hebrews 11 1 that's the verse for you and me come on now hebrews 11 1 that's the verse for you and me faith is being sure of what we hope for it's being certain of what we do not see say what faith is being sure of what we hope for it's being certain of what we do not see say what Hebrews 11 1 that's the verse for you and me come on now Hebrews 11 1 that's the verse for you and me F-A-I-T-H that's the verse for you and me today F-A-I-T-H that's the verse for me and you today can you hear it can you hear it can you see it can you see it what are you talking about that faith teacher chase take it away And Luke and Alyssa is showing me about how to take care of the plants around here. Yeah! Okay, don't you think this plant looks a little hungry? Yeah, I guess so. It does. And thirsty, too. Okay, so we're gonna take this. Okay. We're gonna put a little bit of food in our water. Plant food. Dun 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 dun. Yep. Mmm, we're just gonna swishy, 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 swishy around. Okay, eat it just like that. There, now the plant has all the food and water it needs to grow big and strong. Didn't you like that? Yes, you did. That's so yummy. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. Uh, you so hey, Alyssa, hmm? don't you think it's time to... <gasps> oh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's time to... Rehearse the, the verse. verse. Today's verse is from the book of James, chapter 2, verse 26. Say it like this. Okay. James. 226, just as the body is dead without breath, so also faith is dead without good works. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna say it and you guys will pre after me, okay? Okay. Are you guys ready? Oh, they're ready. Okay. <laughs> James 226. James 226. Just as the body is dead without breath. Just as the body is dead without breath. So also faith is dead without good works. So also faith is dead without good works. Great job! Just like the plant needs food and water to grow big and strong, 
Our faith grows strong when we do good things, like read the Bible. Oh, so that's what Nitro's contest must be about, about growing our faith. Contest? Yeah. What contest? I gotta go. In an orderly fashion. Welcome to Connect Station Faith Olympics. It has been an exciting competition so far. I'm winning! Woo! That is correct. We have just finished the quiet time competition, and Mike won. Yeah, who knew Mike could be quiet so long? Next, we have... Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. If we're going to have an exciting competition, we're going to need an exciting announcer. No offense, buddy. And that should do it. And now we are in the final heat of the Health the Sick competition, where contestants go head to head to outbandage their opponent. Contestants ready? Woo, woo, yes. yes! I'm ready. We got yes. this. We got this. On your marks, get set, go. Okay, let's go. Quick. Oh. 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 No, faster than that. Hurry. Let's go. Come on. It's got to be perfect. It does not have to be perfect. Yes, it just it has does. to be done. Okay, that should be good. Now we're going to go around the next. Now. Let's go. Hold that let's go. Uh, what do you? No, that's not. Yeah. Luke. <laughs> faster. Come on. Safety first. Oh. No, 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 don't unspin. Stop the bleeding. Done. It seems we have a winner. What? Seriously? Woo. Not quick enough in the West. Hey, guys. Can I get a little help here? You've had help. Stay tuned for the Bible search competition. The competition continues to heat up as our contestants go head to head to find a story of great faith in the Bible. Contestants, on your marks, get set, go! Adam and Eve? No way. I'm gonna win! Peter denies Christ? That can't be right. Ow! Oh, I broke a nail! That's a 287. Got it! That's it, Abe's big test. That's the one, Mike's got it. Once again, Mike wins. Watch and learn, kids, watch and learn. This is a 66 picks mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's alive, a prize to hide in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. It's history, his story, whose story, God's story. Let him know up all the pages that this show gone off. Let his word explode from this video into your life. God promised Abraham a son, and from that son, many descendants, who would bless the whole world. But Abraham and his wife Sarah were too old to have children. Twenty years went by. Still, Abraham trusted God's promise. When he was 100 and Sarah was 90, God reminded them of his promise. Sarah was going to have a baby. When their son was born, Sarah was so joyful that she laughed. <laughs> God has brought me laughter, she said. So they named their son Isaac, which means he laughs. When Isaac was a boy, God tested Abraham by telling him to take Isaac to Mount Moriah and kill him as a sacrifice to God. Abraham was confused but still, he trusted God. Isaac carried the wood, and Abraham held the knife and torch. Together, they climbed the mountain. Where is the lamb for the sacrifice? asked Isaac. God will provide it, 
Abraham replied. Abraham arranged the wood on an altar, tied up Isaac, and laid him on the wood. As he raised the knife to kill Isaac, an angel called his name. Abraham! Don't hurt the boy, the angel cried. God knows you trust his promise. Look, there in the bushes, a ram is caught by its horns. Sacrifice that instead. So Abraham sacrificed the ram instead of his son. He called the place God will provide, because God provided the sacrifice. Just as God had said, his promise came true. Oh, that story gets me every time. Abraham trusted God enough to obey, even when it didn't make sense. And even when it seemed like obeying would make Abraham very sad. Yeah, Abraham must have talked to God a lot. His faith was huge! Um, what are you doing? Gotta stay warm, gotta stay body warm. Next competition's coming up, woo! Well, that's a good idea. No. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna do lunches. Well, woo! Yeah, Nitro, you got it! While our contestants warm up for their next event, I challenge you to a contest. What are the first two words of today's point? If you remember, shout it out. Very good. What comes next? Nice work. We're almost halfway done. What's next? Can you get this next one? Shout it out! Great! Only one choice left. Let's finish big. Who is your faith in? I can't hear you! You did it! Friends, say the point with me in three, two, one. I do good things to grow my faith in Jesus. Very good. Hopefully our friends will discover this point as they finish today's competition. The results are in. Alyssa and Luke tied for the bronze medal. Thank you. Thank you, Nitro. Ray takes the silver. Thank you. And now, for the presentation of the highest award. The gold medal goes to... Mike! Emily! <laughs> Man, Mike, I must say, I'm impressed. Yeah, you beat us fair and square. So, how did you do it? Well, I prayed every single day. And I read the Bible a lot. And I made sure I made time to listen to God. Those are all good things. Yeah, so when the time for the Faith Olympics came around, I was ready. That's great, man. You must be... Really happy. Well, I guess. Sort of. What do you mean? Well, I got the gold medal. It's as high as you can go. But now that my faith is done growing, what's next? I don't think it works that way. Well, maybe I should ask the room. Plus, I want to show off my medal. Huh, BRB, or be right back. <laughs> To the room! Hello, Mike. How can I help you? Hey, room! Uh, we had the Faith Olympics and I won! That is wonderful, Mike. Well, I'm really happy, but I won gold. That's as high as you can go. What now? I guess my faith is done growing? James 2.26 just as the body is dead without breath, so also faith is dead without good works. The body never stops needing to breathe to keep on living. In the same way, you must continue to do what it takes to keep your faith strong. You know, I want great faith like Abraham. Hey, I found that story! It is an example of great faith. And you can have great faith too. Okay, you know what, from now on, I'm going to grow my faith. 
I'm gonna do everything I can. I'm gonna pray every day. I'm gonna read my Bible. I'm gonna do good works for people every chance I get. It sounds like your faith is becoming very strong already. And it's about to be even stronger. I'll never stop growing my faith because I do good things to grow my faith in Jesus. That's the point. I do good things to grow my faith in Jesus. Thanks, Room. I gotta go because I've got good things to do for other people. You are very welcome, Mike. Ray, you were right. Just because I won gold doesn't mean my faith stops growing. That's right, Mike. Our faith never stops growing. As we pray, read God's word, worship, our faith just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I want my faith to keep growing. Me too. I do good things to grow my faith in Jesus. I do good things to grow my faith in Jesus. I do. 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 Wow, Mike did great. He blew us all out of the water. <gasps> I wish there had been water. I love water things like swimming and floating on my back and Marco. Polo. Exactly. Still, it was a fun competition and we all grew our faith, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Mike is right. There's always room for us to grow our faith even more. Just like today's point says. <gasps> Let's say it together. I, I do, do good, good things, things to, to grow, grow my faith, faith in Jesus. Jesus. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If we don't do good things, our faith becomes like a shriveled up plant without food or water. Mm. I think you've been reading today's verse, haven't you? Maybe I have. <laughs> and maybe we could all say it together. James, James 2.26 26. Just as the body is dead without breath, so also faith is dead without good works. Great job. This week, let's do good things to show that we believe in Jesus. Like praying. Ooh, or reading the Bible. Oh, and helping others. Exactly. No matter what, when you have the chance, don't hide your faith inside. Show, show that, that you believe, believe in Jesus. Jesus. Oh, hi. <laughs> Winning the gold was fun, but the best thing to come out of today was learning that no matter what, I can always keep growing, and I will because I do good things to grow my faith in Jesus. And you can too. All it takes is making Jesus the leader of your life. And you can do that. Just remember your A, B, C's. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is the leader of your life and your number one friend.
Okay. 